So the faithful have come along tonight. We haven't had many nights here at the Adelaide Oval where we've had fans screaming and yelling and Port Adelaide are into their first preliminary final since 2014. First there. High ball forward. Here it comes. Listen to this. How good the Brisbane Lions are through to a prelim final. It's going to beat the Dogs. The Saints are going to hang on. Their smallest win in a final since the 1966 Grand Final. The siren's going to sound. They've won it. The unwinnable game. Collingwood would have won it. So the Tigers are on their way to Adelaide and to a fourth consecutive preliminary final. The champions are still alive. Clean possession, Stanley. And the Cats are through to another prelim final. Need a handball, need a goal. Haven't quite got it. Off the ground. Richmond are going to run their way to the Gabba. The champions are still standing. Away from Tigerland. A fighting fury, we're from Tigerland. Jasney hooks the ball back. Holding Geelong. So that's it. It's Geelong and Richmond at the Gabba in the grand final. So the last time we see the little master. So in a season like no other, as I said, Brian, the champions have been able to do what only the toughest and strongest could do in 2020. The Tigers again. Have a listen to this. Port Adelaide are through to a prelim final. His feet, which is good, but you do not want concussion to come into play. Just it up. And the Giants are through to the semi-finals. GWS eliminate their cross-town rival and progress to a cutthroat semi against the Cats. Releases the kick. The siren will sound. And it's Melbourne. Straight through to a prelim final. The excitement, the energy, the expectation. This could be the year for the Melbourne Footy Club. And Stringer might have the last kick he's going to have. Eight in a row in this second half for the Western Bulldogs and they march into the second week of the finals. They are going to win this game and go into another prelim final and they do it and they win by 35 points and Geelong play Melbourne in the prelim next one. Scratch and claw and snarl their way to And the Demons move a step closer to a grand new flag. Melbourne into its first grand final in 21 long years. After all the home and away games and all but one final. Play on, play on, play on. It's the underdogs. Undermanned and on the road. They're into their fourth grand final in 97 seasons. Every heart is beating true and blue for the red and blue. After 57 long years, the Demons are premiers in 2021. Extraordinary stuff. And McDonald kicks the goal.
Sydney are going to win. They're into a prelim final. Siren. The Cats are through to a prelim. In one of the best finals you will ever see. A victory that no Fremantle fan will ever forget. No footy fan will forget. It's taken every ounce of the old heave-ho. But the Dockers have done it. Udu gone. And your team are through to a prelim final. There it is. Incredible. Through the circles. Pies again have got the numbers. And what a fitting way to finish. Collingwood conquer the Dockers. They're into a prelim final. They'll head to Sydney as their fairy tale season continues. It's a long celebrate. They are through to their 19th grand final and couldn't have done it in better style. The best games of football you'll ever see. It's the Swans and the Pies Cinderella story finally grinds to a halt. Cats fans, stand up to your full height and celebrate this champion team that has delivered you your 10th premiership. We'll play the winner of Carlton and Sydney. Collingwood will play in the preliminary final on Craig McRae's 50th birthday. Can you believe that? They get to the last four in the comp. An opportunity, six seconds. I think they've done it. I think the Blues are going to win a final. I think the Blues are home. Captain Paddy Cripps. Look at this hysterical Carlton involvement. They win an epic final by six points in front of 92,000 people. And the Giants see off the Saints. GWS survived the elimination final and progressed to visit the loser of Brisbane and Port Adelaide in a sudden death semi next week. That was to win a game, hey? This one's been won for a while, but lovely moment. Wait for Country Road. Well, not quite the theatre we were hoping for. Charlie misses, but not for the first time this year. The power has gone out at the Gabba. The Lions have... The first time in 42 years that our enemies will stay in line in Collingwood and Carlton, but what about this? Carlton have beaten Melbourne. Melbourne have lost their last four finals the MCG and gone out in back-to-back -back years in straight sense. Season over for Port Adelaide and the GWS Giants win their way into a fourth brilliant final in their history. A Friday night date with Collingwood awaits. The Giants by 23 points. Well, there's a big, big sound from the west of the town. It's the sound of the mighty Giants. Listen to this noise. Collingwood are into the ground.
grand final. Time to celebrate. The activated sub gets the possession late. Lions, Hipwood's been good. Picked up by Bailey. And it's the Brisbane Lions who will meet the Magpies in the 2023 AFL Grand Final. Brody Meyer check down the line. The Magpies and their massive army are going to win a record equaling 16th flag. How sweet it is. Collingwood win the Grand Final. have conquered the Cats in the second qualifying final. Their fans are delighted. Hawks continue on in 2024. Seconds tick down, and a famous Sydney Swans win. Their first win in the final over the Giants. They go straight through to the prelim final in the most miraculous fashion you've ever seen. They are going nuts here at the SCG. Unbelievable scenes. Cheers. That sets up victory and a semi-final date with Greater Western Sydney. Brisbane by 28 points. The Lions go forth in search. Port Adelaide are through to a prelim final. Up off the canvas. What a performance by Ken Hinckley and his boys. has done the unthinkable and Chris Fagan cannot hide his delight here we are they are through to the grand final in a shot at their sixth flag what a season this has been for the Sydney Swans forget what they saw. Brisbane just had unfinished business to attend to at the MCG and they will get their chance next week against the Sydney Swans. In, stays in and the Lions have caught lightning in a bottle.